Hello friends. Today I'm in this new kitchen down in Houston where mom's getting her transplant. And this is going to be our kitchen uh, for several months. Now, I'm going to let you watch a video that I previously recorded before I came up here. So, and I'm making uh, salsa and guacamole. So, but from now on, after this one, you're going to see a new kitchen for a little while. Enjoy my salsa, hot sauce, whatever you call it, and guacamole. Hi friends. Today I want to show you how I make my salsa and my guacamole. So, to get started, I'm gonna use five tomatoes, and I buy, when I'm gonna make it fresh like I'm gonna make it today, I buy the um, the ones on the vine, tomatoes on the vine. To me, they if you're gonna buy tomatoes, buy the best, okay? Now, I do, we did can a whole lot of salsa, and I'll show you, um, what it looks like. We canned about 30 or 40 quarts of salsa, but when you can it, it does, it's not as, the recipe I use, it's not as thick as we like it. It's a look, I mean, it's chunky, but it's not as thick as we like it. So when I can get tomatoes for a good price, then I will buy them and then we'll have occasionally some uh, fresh. Especially if I'm going to make salsa. Okay. Or uh, guacamole. So I'm going to cut my tomatoes in half. Just like this. And I'm using a Vitamix. But you can use any strong blender. You'll need a strong blender. Okay. And I'm just going to do my five tomatoes like that. Just cut them in half. Now you'll notice I'm just going to put one tomato in there right now. But I'm going to go ahead and and cut the rest of them in half, that way they'll be ready. Now, I got this recipe from um, a Spanish friend of mine. She can make the simplest stuff taste great. So, she, we had tried so many recipes for, for salsa and um, just never liked them. I and mean, we, we tried them with roasted jalapenos, we've tried them just really about any way but never was satisfied with it. We're, we're a big salsa people. So, uh, but anyway, uh, so I'm gonna stop that story for just a second. I'm going to add in this um, one tomato. This is the peppers that we use. You see that? I get them in Walmart at the, um, in the produce section and they are hot, okay? So, we like our salsa pretty hot for, so for, for um, uh, five tomatoes, I would probably use two or three peppers per tomato. But if you don't want it that hot, then you might want to start out with one, one tomato, uh, one pepper per tomato. So, I'm just going to get a little handful out. We, Chris and I both love hot stuff and the boys do too. And you'll see, let me show you these. These are dried. Now, when we go on vacation to Colorado and, no, 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 Drake dropped one. He can't have that. <laughs> He'll be sick. Um, Colorado or New Mexico, you can see them. Um, they'll dry them and they'll hang them in the really pretty way. And uh, I'll buy those occasionally. <coughs> these are going to be, these are going to be warm. <coughs> I can already tell. <coughs> Woo! Sometimes they're hotter than other times. You just never know. So, uh, but anyway, back to my, I'm going to put all of these in. Take your stems off and uh, put them in there. And then we're going to, we're going to blend these because we want, we want these peppers to be small. So back to my story. Um. Uh, she taught me how to make this, and she can make anything taste good. So we had tried roasted jalapenos. We tried everything. So I think that was my story. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. I've had a busy day. I've been packing for 
for Houston. You all know that I'm going to Houston for mom for her transplant. Okay, so we're going to get um, those peppers that we want, the amount of peppers you want, and that one tomato. Okay? And we're going to blend it really, 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 really good. Okay? Because we don't like hooks of this dry um, peppers. We're going to put um, a slice of onion, and I just use a slice. Now, she would tell me that when she was going to make a lot and put it in the refrigerator, that she would use less onion than when you're just going to eat it right away because it got stronger, okay? But I just use a slice, a slice of onion, and I am going to cut it in half. This makes it easier on the blender, okay? Throw it in there, and then you can use fresh garlic, or however much, however much garlic you like. Use garlic powder. We use this garlic here, it's like the pickled garlic, chopped already, and I get it at Walmart in the produce section as well. And I just like to use two big, probably about a tablespoon. If you were gonna use fresh, I'd probably use two cloves. All right? And then we're going to put all of our tomatoes in there. So our onion, our tomatoes. And then if you like cilantro, you can put cilantro in there. And we do. We like cilantro. So and for the cilantro, I usually just cut a big handful. You can have more, you can have less, just whatever you prefer. Okay? And this is already clean. Now, we like ours kind of um, chunky, so I'm just going to pulse it really quick and uh, kind of are on the, the slower um, setting. Okay? So I got it on slow. then you might have to do it a little bit longer than what I just did, okay? So, we're gonna pour it in our bowl. This will be your favorite salsa ever, okay? It's so, so, so good. Okay, now we are going to want to add some salt. And for the amount that I'm making right here, you're gonna want to add about I would say about three-fourths of uh, a tablespoon. So just start off with the half and then just kind of test it. But I know for what I, my family likes, that's what we're going to want. Okay, I have a spoon around here somewhere. Um, I got all prepared and it's hiding on me, so I'm just going to use this knife. Now, for your very, very last thing that you're going to do, you're going to squirt some lime in there if you want to. We always do. And uh, I get this uh, real lime and we just do a good generous squirt. Okay? Or you can do a fresh. We've done, we do both. But my husband likes to put this in his Dr. Pepper or Coke or whatever he's drinking. So we just have that right now. Okay? Give that another good stir. And there you go. Now I want to show you this and see if you can see. You can see that it is really chunky. It is not watery. It's chunky and that's what's good. Okay. 
let me pour it into a, a little dish here and let you see. Let me get another spoon. And you'll see the consistency of it. This lady, her name was Sandra, and she, I tell you, she can make, but look at that. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to try it and make sure I have enough salt and lime and all of that. See if it's hot enough or too hot. Perfect. It's got a kick to it. Mm. That is delicious. After she showed me that recipe, I gained some weight. I think I was eating too much chips and stuff. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the perfect guacamole. Now I asked Caleb to go to the store and get me some avocados. I guess he thought the word avocados with a S meant two avocados. I always make four or five, but I said, well, we're having fajitas tonight. So <laughs> when he came home, I said, we're having fajitas tonight, but I guess we're just going to have two. So we're going to have to share. Now, the way that I do mine, let me get where you can see. The way that I do mine, I cut my ends off, and you want to just not cut real deep, okay? And then I take my knife, and I go all the way around the avocado, just like that, okay? Those peppers are making my nose run. Pull it apart, and then I squeeze the avocado in a bowl. See? It comes out clean. No scraping. Nothing like that. Pop my seed out. Depending on the, the ripeness of it, uh, how easy it comes out. Okay, good. Squeeze again. Isn't that easy? You don't have to sit there and, and uh, scrape because it, it just cleans it up so good. Now we're going to do one more. And then I'm going to show you the very, very, very hard way I make I make guacamole. If I'm going to make guacamole, I always make the fresh salsa just because I think it tastes better. And we're just going to take some of that salsa and put it in our guacamole, or in these avocados. And that makes the guacamole. You don't have to add anything else. And uh, if you don't like to make salsa, you can maybe buy whatever salsa that you like and you could do your guacamole this way as well now I don't like to cream my my avocados I like we also like a chunky guacamole so get all that out of here what I do is I take a knife and I just do this so hard turn in the bowl until it gets to kind of the chunkiness or consistency that, that I want and uh, I know you could probably do that on a cutting board if you want but this is the way I do it and uh, so however you want to do it if you want to if you want to take a fork and mash them and have a little bit more uh, smooth guacamole that's fine or you can have it chunky like, like we're going to do. Okay, now I'm going to show you. This is kind of the consistency. I hope you can see this. It's just uh, kind of a chunky, okay? All right, and then I'm going to start spooning this salsa into the, uh, the avocado mixture. Okay, I'm probably going to start out with about five or six spoons, since this is just two uh, avocados. Stir it up. 
We don't like it runny. We like it chunky. Okay, I'm already seeing that I'm probably going to need about three more spoons. You probably hear Chrissy's out on the lawnmower if you hear that lawnmower in the distance. See, this already has your salt. It already has all, everything that you would put in guacamole. Your lime juice, everything. Okay, now, now this is what I like. And I'm going to show it to you. See that hunk of, uh, of avocado there? That's how we like it, okay? So let me taste it and make sure that I don't need to add anything else. Mm -mm. Perfect. Once in a great, great while, I'll add a little bit more salt. But, no, not today. Today, it's just like I like it. So, I hope you learned something today. If you did, give us a thumbs up. I hope you're part of our family by now. If you're not, hit that subscribe button and join our family. We have a Facebook account. We have an Instagram account. So, check us out. And, uh, We'll see you next time. Bye.